In this video, we will use the project tool to project our two new maps into a Lambert conformal conic projection. First, go to the Analysis tab and click the Tools button. In the search bar of the Geoprocessing pane to the right, type the word Project and click Enter. You'll see a few search results pop up and double click on the first result that says Project Data Management. In the input drop-down, select your US States shapefile. In the output dataset section, rename the layer so that it says Lambert Project at the end. Remember, your layer should not use spaces. In the output coordinate system section, click on the globe icon to the right, and a new window will appear. There are three main groups for the coordinate systems to choose from existing layers, geographic coordinate systems, and projected coordinate systems. Click on the drop-down arrow next to the projected coordinate systems option to reveal a variety of options. Click on the drop-down that says State Systems, then scroll to the bottom of the options and expand the Oregon section. Then select the second option titled NAD83 2011 Oregon Statewide Lambert Meters, then click OK. The project tool will change the projected coordinate system into a new projected coordinate system. In this case, we didn't have a projected coordinate system and simply a geographic coordinate system. Once you click Run, it may take a second. Your data should be saved immediately into your Geo database, which you can find in your projects folder. But the map should automatically be added to your new map window. Stylize the layer to your liking and make sure to save. You might notice that the projection of your map doesn't look any any different than before. This is because the map has defaulted to the coordinate system of the first layer added. Right click on where it says Oregon Lambert and go to the properties. In the coordinate systems tab, you can modify the coordinate system to match the new projected layer. Where it says layers, choose the option that says NAD 1983 2011. In the drop-down, you'll be able to see the name of your new projected layer. Once you've selected this, click the option and press OK. You should notice that the map, map will now change projections and look a little bit different than before. Right-click on the layer and click Zoom to Layer to zoom to the states. Always make sure to save often. Next, let's project our World Lambert map as well. Go to your map titled World-Lambert and search for the projection tool. This time, select your country's layer and rename the layer like before with Lambert Project. Choose the same projection, though you might use the search bar instead to find it easier. Notice the geographic transformation option below after you select your projection. This option is necessary when projecting your data to a coordinate system that uses a different datum. Since our original data used WGS84, and we are projecting it into NAD83, this will be necessary. Hover over the question mark button in the top right to learn more. 
Next, click Run. The Project tool only works if there is a pre-existing coordinate system attached to your data. If our projection information happened to be missing, this tool would not work. Instead, you would use a tool called Define Projection. Search that tool to learn a little bit more. Once the map is added, stylize it to your liking. Now, change the coordinate system in the properties section of the map like you did before. In the next video, we will add all four of these maps into a layout and create a final PDF export.